Hello, 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 and welcome, everybody. I am so excited. Today is a big, big day. So I want to say hello to everyone. Let us know where you're calling in from. And before I introduce today's special guest, let's roll this brand new video for a taste of what's to come. Go for it, on. Awesome. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you to our marketing team. More on that later. First, I want to introduce to you our very own CEO, Mario Martinez Jr. Say hello to everyone. What's up? What's up? I'm so excited, Vivi. I'm so excited. Today is a big day. Huge. 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 Huge day. Uh, yeah, I'm very excited. Thanks for having me for the first time as a guest on yeah. Vingressa Live. Absolutely. It's my extreme pleasure. And today we're going to talk about sales enablement. So we'll get to that in just a minute. But those of you who are on a little bit early, you saw a sneak peek to something really, 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 really cool that we're going to share with you near the end of this presentation. So you need to stay on for the whole time. And Mario, do you notice I'm wearing my fly message purple? I see it. You've got the purple going. And uh, I'm excited about this sales engagement tool. Uh, and it's going to have lots of cool stuff. And I think, Viv, I'm going to call a couple audibles. We're, yeah, I'm go so for excited. it. We're, I'm so excited. We're probably going to talk about this big announcement probably earlier than the end and a couple times <laughs> in between. I'll, but I'll tell you what. I'll tease out all of the really cool stuff and save the best part till the end. I love it. I love it. And hello to, oh my gosh, this has got to be the biggest live we've ever had and people are still jumping in. Hi, Delphi and Amelia. Hello, Miss Mary Fane, Willie, Stan, Fred, Frank, Stephen, Daniel, Diego, uh, not, sorry, I can't do it. Uh, Chardul, Brian, Kevin. Oh my gosh. There's so many people on the call today. Thank you so much. Hey, Heather from Connecticut. Hey, Dev, so psyched to have you here. All right. So let's go ahead and get started with the topic, which is sales enablement. And okay. So what really is sales enablement? What What is your definition of sales engagement, sales enablement? How does it work? So enablement's a little different. I think today we yeah. want to talk about engagement, talk about right. engagement, engagement yes. sales engagement. So um, sales engagement. Now, I, I really think that this should be called buyer-seller engagement because yeah. that's, really, that's really what it is. It's a two-way uh, exchange of information that requires me as a seller when I'm either dealing with an inbound lead or an outbound lead, I am actually trying to create engagement with my buyer. And we like to call this, especially Viv, when we're talking about online, uh, yeah. taking a conversation from online and moving that to an offline discussion. So the key exactly. to sales engagement is getting our buyer to respond and say, yes, I'd like to take a meeting. Yes, I want to have a conversation. That's step one. And then sales engagement happens all throughout the sales process, including from the first meeting through 
contract signature and customer implementation. In fact, we've got customers today, one of our largest customers, um, which is Juniper Networks. Um, just today, uh, the CSO and I were engaging on social media on a post back and forth. So that, that constitutes a sales engagement as well as when you can get the buyer and the seller or the customer and the seller to be engaged in having a, a dialogue of some sort. And what that means, Viv, ultimately it means creating a stronger, healthier relationship between the two parties. And to that end, we've got something really awesome that we're going to talk about in just a little bit that Vingresso has launched to the marketplace, an application built by the largest modern sales training organization in the world and done by salespeople and sales leaders. So yeah. very excited to launch this to the marketplace. Yeah, 100 percent. So, uh, yeah, I, I have I had sales and enablement on my brain. So can you dive in a little bit more, unpack it a little bit more? What is the difference between engagement and enablement, especially as it comes to LinkedIn? And, and why is it important to, important to have that engagement? I mean, I think it's obvious, but let's let's just unpack that a bit more. So, in a, so let's start with the enablement side. The sales enablement side is really helping the sellers. So there's this usually yeah. a sales enablement team. It could be marketing enablement, could be channel enablement, could be customer success enablement, right? Partner enablement. Yeah. It's enabling the sales team to be more productive and have more conversations, helping them with tools, technology, yeah. messaging, marketing content, distribution methodologies, cadences, what you should do next, playbooks, those types of things. So it's all the piping, the internal stuff that we would um, prepare our sellers for to be able to really get out there and perform. Now, the engagement side is when a seller, as we just talked about, as a yep. seller is now taking all that has been given to them through the enablement team or through enablement tools, technology, yeah. or playbooks, as an example, and utilizing that to create engagement directly with that customer. And um, again, back to what our big announcement is and what we care about uh, today is we're that glue, we're that centerpiece that helps take what enablement or yep. you yourself are pre-planning, pre-creating as messages and content to allow a seller to create that engagement more quickly. And that's why we're excited about this sales productivity tool that we're launching. Again, for those of you that are just joining in, pretty excited. We've got thousands of people that are registered for this event. And so for those of you that are just joining in, we are going to be revealing our big announcement today um, of a brand new sales tool that is really designed to create engagement, help you from a productivity standpoint, and most certainly increase efficiency. Yeah, absolutely. And so enablement is, to recap, kind of the background inner workings it's the software it's the training it's the scripts that help you so it's well enables you to do the engagement and the selling and i think it's important to note that when we talk about selling we're really talking about positioning people as trusted advisors i mean salespeople have such a bad rep and really especially today in this new virtual selling, remote selling, social selling world, we are, we're the trusted advisors. People need to go for a, to us for advice and for help. And that's one of the ways I'm assuming that these sales enablement tools can, can help our sellers. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, there's a great question. Um, uh, I love, I love Bernie Borges' comment. We're the yeah. glue between sales enablement and engagement. If I said that, then we should start using it. Um, yeah. <laughs> but if you said that, we should start using it either way. Uh, but there was a question that was asked um, is where does one begin and one end? And, yeah. and really, if you think about that question, it's really um, about where a salesperson begins to start to have a conversation. So, you know, we like to think of Ingresso as the, the sales training company that develops yeah. skills to get more hellos. That's yeah. where we focus at. Well, once someone has a hello to the close, that's the other 200 sales training companies that are out there in terms of yeah. helping the skill development, relationship building, closing, negotiation, all those types of things. So where does one end and one begin? Sales enablement is all of the free hello, getting you ready to create more hellos and is involved in hello to close and helping you with the skill development. So all throughout that process. So think of sales enablement as a stack. It sits right over the top. But engagement 
is where you are getting that engagement right there in the in the beginning and continuing that engagement with the buyer directly. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So yeah, you've got your hello in the middle and you've got your engagement and your enablement kind of on top of that hello, pre and post. Absolutely. Get more hellos. Yeah, absolutely, Diego. So tell us a little bit, what are some of the, because we use, we've got a huge sales tech stack. What are some of, do you believe the leading sales engagement vendors out there? Well, there's some big ones that are out there and the product that we're releasing, which is, I'm going to drop, drop a hit here, fly message. <laughs> and it's spelled with an MSG flymessage.io. Um, so that's my first drop of, of this topic of this <laughs> conversation. Um, I can't contain myself. I can't contain it. <laughs> can't um, hide it anymore. I, can't. I just had a release, but, um, we are, we are that, uh, that tool that allows you to be able to use um, an engagement tool before you get to, as an example, a uh, um, sales loft, a outreach, uh, a Zant, uh, a vanilla soft, auto close. All those tools there are definitely sales engagement tools, yeah. but I also like to think of them as a sales cadence tool as well. Um, and so where, where we come into play in terms of um, uh, sales engagement, we don't compete against any of these things. We actually are pre-purchasing these tools as well as many of our sellers, even with these advanced sales cadence tools, are utilizing uh, a sales productivity tool like Fly Message to be able to help with one-to-one -one engagement. So yes. think of some of the engagement tools that we have or that are out there that I mentioned, um, the, you know, the four or five that I mentioned. Think yes. of those as kind of the one-to-one, -one, but it's kind of one-to-many, right? It's a cadence, yeah. it's going out, it's automation. So sales automation. Now think of fly message as that one to one where you and I, and I'll demo this in just a second where you and I Viv, on LinkedIn, I can quickly type a message out using a shortcut. We call it a fly cut. Yes. Uh, and I can type a message out. Boom. It builds out. I change the name to Vivica instead of, Hey, first name and away right. it goes. I can also do this on email and I can also utilize this tool on my CRM. So yeah. how many of you sales folks out there, are constantly putting in the same message uh, into your CRM. You can build a, a fly cut instead of saving it to different applications like OneNote, Evernote, um, um, Google Docs, <laughs> Word, right? All those types of things. So exactly, uh, these sales engagement tools are amazing that I just mentioned. They're cadence-based tools, generally speaking. So it drives a lot of automation. Yeah. We're focused on speed of the one-to-one -one communication and utilizing messages that you know work in the yeah. field that you know work or that enablement's given you that you can utilize that in one-to-one -one, um, hand to hand uh, buyer seller combat, if that's the right way to say it. I love it. So uh, tell me, Mario, what do you think is the best sales engagement platform? <laughs> oh, I, could oh. <laughs> I could. So, so, so this whole entire live session, um, what I'd like to do is right now, We've got thousands of people that are listening in. I'm, I'm watching the, the chat and I'm watching our, our social media team go wild yeah, right now. Exactly. So what I'd like to do is instead of answering that question, me personally, I'd like to ask our team to roll that video. Awesome. Let's do it.
So for the people on this live right now, I would definitely recommend share this live. Just hit that share button. Share this live with your friends because what Mario is about to show you, and I just stepped on him, what Mario is about to show you is such a game changer. And you may think you understand about auto text expanders. No, this is so much better. And I'm not just saying that <laughs> because we're Vengresso. We, I have been using, since we released the software, I have been using it every single day. I've been using Fly to let people know about Fly on Fly. I mean, it's, it's, it's all Fly over here. Okay, with that, Mario, take it away. So you asked me about the best sales engagement tool uh, ever. And uh, <laughs> ever. Uh, well, well, you just saw the video of, of that particular tool. And I'd love to introduce to the world, to the world, flymessage.io. That's F-L-Y-M-S-G.io. Now, if you actually typed in M-E-S-S-A-G-E, -S -S -E, you'll still get to the same spot, but flymessage.io. And I am so excited about this tool because what we did, Viv, is we actually in our selling with LinkedIn and our selling with video sales training courses for both individuals and for teams, we had many, many, many scripts. In fact, in our team corporate training program, we hand out a 28 page playbook of scripts that someone can use uh, for engaging with customers. Yeah. Everything from connecting with a buyer to wishing them a happy work anniversary to uh, cold messaging. We've got all of that and we had it inside of a little playbook Bible, if you would. Yes. Uh, and so what people were doing was they were taking that and they were trying to find it and then they were trying to copy and paste it and they would put it in LinkedIn and they would put it on email and they'd go back and forth. But what we said was, is God, there's gotta be an easier way to do this where we can put rich content, we can do links, we can do images, we can even, do video as well and include That's this in our point. messaging. So I want to share my screen here, Vivica, and I want Absolutely. to show everybody what actually happens and what we're talking about. So let me share my screen here and I'm going to think if I'm doing this right. Jump I down should... to share screen. Am I sharing it now? Almost. Can you see my Gmail? Not yet. I'm trying to add it to screen. I have a feeling both uh, Andre and I were not. <laughs> okay, Andre, I'll let you do it. <laughs> there we go. Now we can see it. All right. So we're live. So here we go. Let's pretend that we are going to respond via email uh, to a, a, a customer or send out a new message or someone has asked us to book a meeting. Now, what I want you to do, Viv, I want everybody who's here on, on this, um, uh, this uh, live broadcast to watch my screen, I'm going to type in the words, book a meeting and watch what happens very closely. Here we go. You ready, Viv? Yep, ready. Here we go. Book a meeting. Boom! <gasps> it's magic. Magic. It's magic. Here we go. I'm going to, uh, uh, I want to send a, a, a cold message out to a buyer and it's one-to-one. -one. And actually, let me actually uh, stop sharing and I'm going to share it now on LinkedIn as an example. And let me go back to where I'm at. I got to this, this thing is a little finicky in terms of sharing stuff. So I'm gonna, here we go. And I think I'm sharing now. Not uh, my, quite. Andre, I'll let you, I'll let you manage it. <laughs> there we go, okay. now you're sharing. Okay, so you and I are engaged in a conversation, Vivica. Yeah. Let's just pretend you're one of my buyers. And um, I want to uh, send you a message and I'm going to um, bring up my cold template message um, to be able to get a meeting or maybe, you know what, better yet, we just connected on LinkedIn um, and I'm going to send you a message on thanks for connecting. So here we go. Watch my screen. I'm down here in the little message area. Can you see that, Viv? Yep, I can see it. All right. I'm going to type in the code that I've created, which is called a fly cut, which is like a shortcut. T-H-X-C-O-N-N-E-C-T. -N -N -E That's thanks connect, right? And I could create anything I want. Here we go. T H X C O N N E C T. Boom. Bam. And now all I have to do is say Vivica. And now I'm going to hit the send button. And boom. Now my message is already there. Now With people are going to say, wait, what just happened? Yes. Let me do it one more time. Do it again. I'm going to type in the code. There's a code uh, that I created, a fly cut. 
and it's going to be T-H-X-C-O-N-N-E-C-T. And look what this happened. All of this content just built out now uh, directly here on this particular message. And when I yeah, hit I wanna... send, oh, go ahead. When I hit send, these links that I have embedded in here yeah. are actually pulling up the social image inside here. So, so how does this work? Well, here you go. I'm inside a fly message. I think you can see my fly message application. Is that right? Yes. So this is a Chrome extension here. You want to make sure that it's always purple and you can see it here and that says you're logged in. And you can build all of your messaging templates. You can take everything that the corporation has given you, all those Word documents that your enablement team sends you and says, here's the new messaging for whatever product. Go ahead and use this. And you can drop it into your fly cut. We also have a rich library, Viv, a rich yeah. library in our fly plates. Now there are 22 templates that we've loaded into the free tool, which is right over here, 22 templates. If you want access to all 60 or 70 templates, we've got a promo that's going on with our Selling with LinkedIn um, sales training program for 50% off. Now the tool is free to use, but if you want to be able to learn how to utilize these messages like uh, inside of the fly plates, are three templates that we give free of charge that are included in our actual script library um, in, the, in the training program. So as an example, when someone, a buyer has viewed your profile, there is a code here called dash CR viewed, right? CR viewed. Yeah. I can go to my, uh, my LinkedIn connections. I can look at who's um, viewed my profile. And once I look at who's viewed my profile, and let's just pretend I'm going to look here. I'm doing it this live. I have no idea. But let's just pretend Scott Brewster right here. So Scott viewed my profile. This is a perfect opportunity to demonstrate yep. one live. Scott, if you're watching live, I'm coming at you, baby. I'm going to hit the connect button and I'm going to add a note. And I'm going to type in the words T-H-X-V-I-E-W. Oops, uh, it's a dash. Excuse me. Dash T-H-X-V-I-E-W. Or what was the... Did I forget my code? Oh, I did. <laughs> okay. CR, CR Let me point out right here though. Did I forget my codes? The cool thing, there's there's three things that really differentiate fly, uh, fly message for me. The number one thing is just what you said. When you open up fly message, you can see all your codes right there. And I, I have them on my left screen and I do my typing on my right screen. The second thing, if you've tried to use auto text expander, it was a great tool until Fly Message came out, but there's no formatting. You put formatting in, but it doesn't cross over to LinkedIn. It's all one glump. And I spend more time adding formatting than if I just copied and pasted. And then, Robert, you're absolutely right. This is, or Freddie, rather, you're absolutely right. This is better than copy and paste because it is right there at your fingertips. And okay, there's a fourth thing, video, GIFs. Oh my God. Wait, that's it. <laughs> keep going. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. Yeah, yeah. So, so I, 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 I keep typing the 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 uh, the code wrong because I actually use a different code on my mobile device. <laughs> uh, so it's I actually use T H X V I E W. Uh, thanks view, and I keep messing it up. Uh, but nonetheless, the point is, is if you're inside here, uh, you can actually you can see the code um, wherever you're at on the web. And it's I'm gonna try this again. C R. Ah! <laughs> I can't get it right. So. Okay, so one thing I learned because I'm a super slow um, typist, I like shortened all of my codes down oh, to like know three or four did, letters. Wait, wait, I know what I did. I'm sorry. See, I'm so smart. Here's what I did. I actually <laughs> took. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. This is my own product, and I'm the CEO, and I don't. I forgot how to use my own product. Okay, it's brand new. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, let me try this one more time, guys. Here's what happened. We have these things called fly plates, and this is a library that we created. We've pre-created these fly plates for you with these codes, okay? So what I did was is I can actually add them. This would say update, um, add to my library. Um, if I ha I've already added it. So this is um, basically if I want to revert back in my library into my fly cuts, I've already added this. So this button would normally say um, add to my fly cuts. I already added it, this, this actual message CR viewed. And what I did was is I changed the message to connection request here. And there it is. So this is the exact same message and I've changed the code. So now let me go back to Scott and actually do it right. Uh, and here we go, T-H-X-V-I-E-W and boom, there it goes. It works guys, it works. 
There uh, you go. And now all I have to do is say, Scott, thanks for reading my profile. And boom, it's off and I'm away I go. Right? Woo! Yeah. That scared me Woo! for a second. I was like, my own product is not working. Uh, <laughs> So, and I got to so, tell you, um, you know, one of the things I did, because I've got three or four different messages that I let people, you know, to, to tell people about Flycut when people introduce, you know, invite me to connect, but I'm at my limit. I've got a message when I have clients who invited me to connect, I kick somebody out and I accept them. And that's a different message when I have people I'm already connected to. And the nice thing about Flycuts, and yes, you can do this in auto text expander, but it's just not as visually easy, the you the, the I gotta say the 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 interface, the UX of of fly message is so easy to copy paste, create a new fly cut, adjust it a little bit, and it's just such a nice big screen, and you've got so much area to do your editing in. I just feel like, and and you can add video, yes, Alejandro, you can add video. Um, so it's just such a powerful tool. So let me show you, I told everybody I would save this to the end and I'm so glad that my, I was messing up on my demo. But let me let me bring you back into FlyMessage yes. and what you can do. Uh, by utilizing our FlyPlate library, you have 22 of them. If you want the rest of them, there's the Selling with LinkedIn sales training course. And not only will you get the rest of them, but we'll teach you how to go about um, converting social connections into conversations, right? To yeah. create more opportunity for prospecting. However, what I want you to think about is um, is the ability to be able to customize this and categorize it yourself. Yes. So let me go back, Vivi, to sharing my screen here. And yeah. I'm going to go here. And hopefully now you can see my fly message um, board, right? Not yet, but soon. There we go. <laughs> okay. So just as an overview, the fly board is like a dashboard. Fly plates are our template library. I'm inside of fly plates right now, and I'm under trigger events. So these are categories that we have created that you won't be able to modify. And here's an example of what I'm talking about. If you want to send a message to congratulating a buyer on a promotion, you know, like those, those notifications that we get that someone's, you know, changed jobs. Yeah. All right. You can now come into fly, into uh, uh, the fly plates and here it is. You can add to my fly cuts. So when I click this add to my fly cuts, I can pick my own category and I've pre-created all of these categories and I'm going to call this a trigger event because I've already have a trigger event. So I created a trigger event category yep. in my own personal fly cuts. I hit save and that now goes inside there. And inside of my fly cuts, I now have under trigger events, bada bing, bada boom, new promo message. So I have the ability to create any type of category that I want. And the best part is, is when I go to add a fly cut, I can choose a category or I can create a brand new one by coming down over here and creating a brand new one. I can create whatever sh uh, shortcut or quote fly cut I want. And I can also title it to categorize it wherever I want. And that's that title here. So when I add it for my fly plates, if I don't like dash new job or new promo, which is what Vingresso recommends, all I have to do is come into it and I can modify right here. And here's yeah. the really cool part, Viv. I told you yes uh, earlier that um, in the show that I would save the best for last. Yes. So what you're seeing right now is a simple text message. But let me show you this. Let's just pretend that I, now I'm here, I'm gonna change the fly plate to say Mario. Uh, so it's got my name inside here. Um, and I wanna add images, all right? Let's say I wanna add images. So I'm just gonna come here to my blog and I think you can see that right now, we're on the blog. I'm gonna do a right click copy image right off the, right off the web. Now I come here and I'm coming back to my fly message and I'm just simply gonna do a control V for paste, right? And voila, and it automatically saved as you can see here. Nice. Now in my new promo message, dash new promo for new promotion, this image is here and I can actually come up here to simple text preview and let's pretend I'm on LinkedIn, which is simple text yeah. or Slack, which is simple text. I'm yeah. going to use this code called dash new promo. Watch what happens, dash new promo. And what it does is, is our fly message is smart enough that we've stored this image on the Amazon web servers. Nice. And now your individual will be able to see this message on LinkedIn. Give you the example. I'm going to come back here to your profile, Vivi. Yep. And when I send this message to an individual, it's going to say dash new promo. And I'm going to, uh, it's got the URL right inside there, as you can see. And I'm going to try to make this bigger. 
Here we go. You got the Here URL right there. Yeah. I'm going to hit the send button. And uh, now what it's done is, is look what just happened on LinkedIn. Nice. This image was now brought in that I wanted to share with an individual. So fly message is smart enough. And this also works with tools like hippo video and yep. one mob. And yep. I can bring these images inside there. Now, if I'm on rich text, which is like Gmail as an example, yeah. I'm going to use this code dash new promo. Oops. And there you go. It now creates and embeds that image directly into my Gmail, my Outlook web access, whatever it might be. So the tool is powerful and you can change things around, headings, size, font. We've, we've enabled all of this into the free tool, Viv. That is so cool. All right. There's a so couple wait, questions. Wait, wait, wait. wait. So okay, if, okay, if okay. Time, you asked me, what's the best sales engagement tool out oh, there? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. Bar none flymessage.io, flymessage.io. Use it, download it. It's free. We want you out there. It was created by salespeople, by sales leaders for the purpose of creating one-to-one -one engagement. Uh, and so where do you get flymessage.io and is it free? Yes. Just go to flymessage.io. Uh, just type that into your browser and um, go to that webpage, download the extension, and then install the app and you'll begin working. And um, they are already existing, Brandon. Great question. We actually have 22 fly plates, 22 fly plates that are already ready to go. And you can, including, including a cold message template utilizing our PVC methodology. So you can go to flymessage.io. It'll get you there. Or Vivica's throwing up the URL. Yeah. And uh, yes, you can use those fly plates starting right now. And you can create all of your own that you want to. Yeah. A couple people were, I, I don't know why it was a little glitchy. So this is the actual link just in case you've got some weirdo security thing that doesn't like forwarding, uh, forwarding messages. So you can also go to vengresso.com forward slash F L Y M S G. So there are a couple, I know we're at time, um, but we got a lot of people on the call and no, it doesn't spy on you. <laughs> Clarice, well, uh, anyway. hey, Clarice, the only buddy that's looking at you is you. Uh, no, so think <laughs> that, there's no, there's no spying on, 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 on anyone. Um, obviously yeah. we do have analytics, meaning are you logging in, uh, you know, and, and, and are you using fly message? So those are standard analytics we have with any SaaS application, of course, because that's going to help us make the product better. But no, I can't see your messaging and those types of things. Yeah. And, and um, Oh, go ahead. Someone said, does it work? Where does it work at? That's a really important yeah. question. Um, pretty much anywhere on the web. Uh, there are probably applications that it won't work in. And if so, just give us the feedback and we'll work on that. Um, yep. And it, it, you have to be on the web. So, and it is a Chrome extension today. We will be expanding um, over the next three months uh, into our premium version yep. and our corporate version, which will allow you to be able to use it also across different web browsers too. And it's free, free, free right now. <laughs> and, yeah, and if you're having a problem, Viv, on that flymessage.io, yeah. do HTTP colon forward slash, no S, HTTP yeah. colon forward slash, forward slash flymessage.io, um, and it should get you where you need to go. Don't use the S for in the HTTP. Absolutely. Now, I love this from George, and thank you for pulling, the, pulling it out, um, Bernie. Google search strings. I didn't even think about that. I mean, think about for those of you who use Boolean or Google search strings. Oh my gosh, I've got them all over the place in so many different Word and Note documents. This way you can pull them all into one place and just a couple type, click, click, click that whole Boolean search string. So if there's a search string or search strings that you use a lot, you can use my message for that too. Yeah, there's a, so, so, so uh, um, think of copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste from Evernote, OneNote, right. Google Docs, whatever it is, gone. It's gone. And now your sales messaging, you can throw inside there. Um, in terms of um, analytics on open rates and click through rates, no, no, it does not do that yet. And yes, yes if you're wondering, will I be able to access my templates by clicking on a, on a button on LinkedIn? look at my templates and then automatically put someone's name inside there so that when I use my template, it said, instead of saying hi, first name, and I have to double click and erase and put Vivica, <laughs> will I be able to eventually be able to, to use my template and it automatically see Vivica's name and put it inside there? You better believe that's coming. And that's for that one-to-one <laughs> -one engagement um, on, on, uh, on Fly Message. Um, someone else asked, does it work on Microsoft Outlook or just in the browser? OWA, so anything web-based, um, your salesforce.com, HubSpot, 
as an example, it works on top of there. So if you've got standard repeatable messages like LVM for left voicemail and you want it to, ex uh, to expand out, you can certainly do that um, anywhere on the web, um, that's where it works. And then um, uh, Clarice asked about GDPR compliance. So um, Clarice, we're not gathering um, anything from a, um, a content perspective uh, of, of your personal information outside of you know, registering, uh, registration information. So that part is compliant, but there's no other reason for compliancy on GDPR because um, all we're doing is storing uh, messaging templates and you're using it anywhere you want on the web. And Mark, if you start using it today, then it'll be being used in the UK. <laughs> Yeah, actually, it's, it's actually already being used around. We did soft launch yeah. for the last 30 days. We didn't yeah. tell anyone about it. And we've got hundreds of users already on the platform already. Yeah. Um, someone said, hey, are there use cases in recruiting? Are there oh, use yeah. cases in um, onboarding and customer success? Great question, Dev. Um, it is definitely a sales and marketing tool. But to your point, 100% recruiting already is utilizing with their standard yeah. recruiting messages and onboarding for CSMs. Think about it this way. You've got a standard message that you're going to send out to somebody as a welcoming to, to the next step. Boom. Create a fly cut for it. Put your fly message. Do all your links inside there, your images, whatever you want. And away you go. And that's a great use case as well. And for those of you that are entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, Viv and I are asked weekly yeah. to send our bio in and our pictures. Oh, my God. Fly cut. I've got a fly, a fly cut that's dash B-I-O. And boom, it pops it all open for them. And I then, love that feature so much. I love um, all the questions. There's a question about training, Viv. Can I take that yes, one? Yes, yes, yes. Carlton okay. just asked. So first off, it's super easy. But as soon as you log in, Carlton, as soon as you log in, there is a, you're on the main dashboard. There are seven videos um, totaling about 25 minutes worth of training. That's all you need. The, the first two is pretty much all you need and your way you go. But um, there are definitely videos all inside the platform. It's self-sufficient, self-sustaining. Use it, have fun with it, and build it out. I love and this from Andy. And Andy, I am also a two-finger typist. So uh, yeah, this is, oh, it's having a hard time loading. But uh, yeah, step up, two-finger typist. It is. It's the best thing <laughs> since Siri. <laughs> Yeah, and, and Gerald says, Gerald says, uh, finally, I can eliminate my 50-word document or 50-page document uh, with all my templates. Wait, Gerald, I'll one-up you. Kurt Shaver, our chief business officer and co-founder of Ingresso, had a 72-page uh, document with all of his messaging <laughs> inside there. So he can beat you, and you are right. You can now take this and put it into the cloud. And you could use it across all computer browsers um, so long as you're logged in with your Google account. Uh, and you can eliminate all that. And you can categorize it. And that's why we're so proud of this tool because we as salespeople thought of it. Categories on the left, titles in the center, and um, soon we'll be adding a search feature so you can quickly find stuff. As you can think about it, once you're above like 10 fly cuts, you kind of forget some of the, the ones that you yeah. use yeah. every day. So um, we definitely will be able to do that. And then Clary says, um, I might have to get IT to approve this. So the answer to that question is, um, first off, if you can add Chrome extensions, then you can add Fly Message. There is no need for approvals of any sort um, if you can add a Chrome extension. And that's why we built the tool the way we built it, so that individuals can actually go to Fly Message, download it, begin using it, which IT, if they allow you to add a, a, a Chrome extension, if, you can, uh, if they allow you to do that, then you're allowed to use the tool because it's safe per Chrome and per um, what IT will allow for Chrome extensions. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I and love so it. My man Dev is out there, Dev Chom. Dev, uh, nice. Yeah, Dev is with Albion, and Albion actually was um, one of our uh, our partner actually in helping us to develop this um, platform, and Dev was head of development. So Dev, you're the man. I appreciate all your work. And John Condenzio, thanks for all your work. And Albion, thanks for your work there as well. Yeah, absolutely. All right, we are way over time, um, but we still have a whole bunch of callers on our live. So I don't know, Mario, how much more time you have, but um, I'm happy to stay on and answer any questions. Oh, here's another one from our friend Peter. Ah, so this is a good one. Can you import such a template file? Uh, for example, companies may have clean standard templates in one form. So all you have to do, yes, Peter, great question. Um, Peter's asking essentially if I can take my um, my Word document that my company gives me, which is traditionally how you're given messaging by your company, yeah. 
in that format and can I cut and paste it? Yes, yes, you can do that. You can copy and paste literally and, and, and slice and dice it over into fly message. It is rich text format. Just remember uh, the following. And the, and the following is, is that um, there is a difference between simple text and rich text. Tools like LinkedIn does not allow you to use rich text format. It does not allow you to use rich text format. Uh, but tools like Gmail, HubSpot, Salesforce does allow you to do rich text. So if you're copying over images like I showed in the example, then the image will not pull up inside of LinkedIn. It'll be the URL. And one more thing, this is not broken when this happens. It is not broken. If you have multiple links inside of a LinkedIn message, LinkedIn will not pull in the actual social media image for that. It'll just show the URLs. So if you want to use messaging that allows you to pull in that nice pretty image that I was showing earlier on, on, on my demo, only use one link or one image inside of your messaging. Um, otherwise, LinkedIn will just add all the URLs and it'll just look like a regular text-based message. That is there not a fly message limitation. It is a LinkedIn limitation. There was a question earlier about video. You add video the same way you add uh, images. Is that correct? And links? That's a great question. And the answer yeah. to that is yes. So we have it programmed to work with, um, for sure, two tools that are out there, two leading uh, video sales acceleration tools. OneMob.com and HippoVideo.com. Uh, um, I recommend that when you go and grab those two tools um, and you do the, there's a little button that says copy link and image. You, you can grab that copy link and image, drop it right into your rich, into your fly, um, your fly cut. Um, and uh, it'll save that image along with the best part, the Giphy image. So if you're moving like yeah. this at your video, you got it. You can be able to use that. So um, it'll actually show that. Remember, it'll show it on rich text. And when you put it on tools like LinkedIn for that one-to-one -one engagement, it'll it'll rip the um, image out and it'll just put the URL in. Nice. And um, even still, if you're using one URL on LinkedIn, it'll still bring in that Giphy image. So uh, yes. Um, boy, there's a ton of questions. This is I know. phenomenal. <laughs> um, can you write these two tools? I'm not sure what you mean by that question, Frederick. Can you write these two tools? We'll go to the next one. Does it work with Bajoro? Uh, Willie, great question. Try it out. In the upper right hand corner, uh, there's a feedback form. If for some reason it doesn't work on that application, give us that feedback um, and we'll look at um, developing that as well. Whew. You can try um, either one of these two links. Um, I know some people are having problems with the flymessage.io. You could do HTTP colon forward slash forward slash flymessage.io or just try uh, HTTPS then grosso.com forward slash flymsg. And um, team, can you put those links back into the socials so it's a hyperlink that people can just click on. They don't have to type it in. And uh, also keep in mind to um, just go to vingresso.com. We have a nice big yeah, purple icon that's on the true. top. Um, and you get the fly message. It's also on the Chrome store. Leave a review, guys, on the Chrome yes, store. Please. Leave a review and go to Product Hunt. Leave a review there as well. Super yep. excited about what we've got here. And um, there's a ton of great questions. I hope, look, can I just ask a question? Throw it in the chat, guys. For all, There's hundreds of you guys that are out there right now that are watching. What do you think? Do you think this would uh, be of value to you? What do you think? My only concern is that some of the salespeople out there are going to be like, oh my God, this is so cool. I'm not going to share it with my colleagues. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Good. Someone says that, hey, I'm, I'm having a problem in the sign up. It just hangs. James, I definitely know that it's working. We've got um, a massive infrastructure behind this um, platform. Um, so do me a favor and uh, go ahead and refresh, uh, try it over again, um, load the uh, Chrome extension first. So if you go to the flymessage.io, um, then uh, you should be able to get it. And if that doesn't work, I'll tell you what, you can send me a personal email. You can send me a personal email, uh, use one of our favorite tools, seamless.ai, and uh, that'll get, you'll find my email. I will personally make sure that you get uh, that resolved. Um, and uh, um, I'm seeing extremely efficient time saver sales productivity, right? Absolutely. <laughs> I think you can for sure. Um, someone said, hey, can you go over the Hippo video and other tool that you mentioned, One Mob? One Mob. I didn't understand the two tools and what you would use them for. So 
If you're doing video messaging, uh, Loom, uh, uh, Videolicious, uh, OneMob, Hippo Video, we know for sure that on Hippo Video and OneMob, you can grab those images, uh, the Giphy images that you can create, and uh, it will automatically um, convert them and allow you to use it within the fly message. We're the only text expander tool that you can do that with. Um, and I saw somebody else said, hey, I was using auto text expander. Believe it or not, we were actually teaching that um, in um, our training course up until this past month. Um, so we've used it before as well. And we said, there's got to be a better way. Um, and uh, <laughs> what Laura says, it'll keep her from putting 2020. Hey, Laura. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you guys and, and follow Oliver Laura. Before... She's another uh, LinkedIn learning author. She's amazing. So make sure to follow Laura too. Okay. Keep going. Sorry. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I, I forgot what I was saying, but uh, <laughs> auto text expander. Yeah. Blah. That's Blah. nothing. Who and needs that's it? nothing because now we can do imagery. We can do videos. We can also categorize our content, which you couldn't do before on auto text expander. Um, and for those developers that are out there, they're joining in. Yes, this was based off people writing code um, who use yep. code over and over and over again, snippets of code. That's where it came from. And now we've turned it into a sales and marketing tool. Um, yep. So yeah, and uh, on the formatting uh, to, let's see, Chris's point, Chris Harper, to on the formatting, you're darn right. None yeah. of the other tools allowed you to format out there, but Fly Message does. Nice, Peter. <sighs> uh, so, let's see. <laughs> Uh, LinkedIn on my personal cell, maybe the only way at the moment. So Peter, um, uh, what you can do is, is again, uh, from a security standpoint, if your company allows you to be able to add Chrome extensions, if your company allows you to add Chrome extensions, then you're totally in the clear because, and that's the reason why we built the application that way. You want to make sure I'm going to share this one more time, Viv, I'm yep. going to make this my screen and I'm going to share this right over here. So, um, right over here in the upper right hand corner for those of you watching make sure that you've installed the chrome extension and it when you click on that purple one it shows that you're logged in if you're not logged in it'll be gray oh and here's one little tip vivi for those yeah. of you watching you may be wondering how to get this little fly message logo on the extensions if you don't see it right away click on this puzzle piece oh yeah click on the puzzle piece and as you can see um fly message goes away right here when i unpin it if I wanted to show up, click the little pin and bada bing, bada boom. You can see it popping up and popping down right there. So if you want it on your Chrome extension, make sure you do that. And Viv, that was the longest <laughs> Vangresso live session I think we've ever done. And I don't know if it's because I'm talking too much or it's because we have all these questions that are coming in. I love it. I love all the questions. Um, oh, and here's another one. I don't know. We're, we're just not going to let you go. Um, asking if it works on mobile. Good question. Uh, in today's version, uh, there's no mobile, but rest assured, um, uh, Manu, who's our product uh, specialist and manager, um, he actually has that on the horizon. So um, we will be a future um, item is um, integrating this into uh, iPhone and Android um, uh, keyboard so that you can actually use your fly messages or fly fly cuts directly onto, um, onto uh, iPhone and Android. But today, no, it's purely desktop. All right. I think that might be all the questions. You can, of course, watch the recording of this again. As soon as we hit and broadcast, it'll be available for you to share with your friends and with your colleagues. Um, and remember, you can still share it with them because the messages that you create are what's going to give you the edge. <laughs> so please feel free to share this with your colleagues. And to Mario's point earlier, if you caught the end of it, you're not quite sure how to use it. We've embedded the training for the program right inside the program. So as soon as you download Fly Message and you go to the, the site, you'll be able to see the videos where we show you how to use Fly Message. Yeah. And um, Frederick, I'm not really sure what you mean, but for any support related questions, um, certainly go to support at vingresso.com support at vingresso.com, send us screenshots. Hey, um, we, we've been testing this for months now. We've had it in soft launch. We think we've got any bug worked out, uh, but uh, we're, we're happy to hear your comments. So if you've yeah. got something, support at vingresso.com and the support team is there um, uh, five days a week, eight to five, and they will uh, manage all of your stuff. And also there's a little feedback button in the upper right-hand corner when you're logged into the application. 
um, to uh, be able to give feedback as well. So uh, if for some reason it stops working, <laughs> always check, always check if you're logged in. Every once in a while, Google has uh, uh, forced me to log out of all my Chrome extensions when I clear my cookies and those types of things. So just double check that you're logged in always before you say it doesn't work, okay? I love this from Gerald. Let's fly. Did you see his image there? Yeah, that's Woo! right. That's right. Let's fly. Um, yeah, we, baby. We like, to say, we like to say, that's fly. So I'll close with this, Vivi. Um, yeah. Here's the message. Type less, sell more. Type less, sell and more. Then, let's roll that video one more time so everybody gets to see that video. And then you can... <laughs> Indeed. Type less, sell more. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Mario. This is it for this week. Make sure to send this recording to your friends. Thank you for being on today's call. And please feel free to reach out to me or anyone on the team if you've got more questions about Fly Message. See you later.